People often ask me whether things are really worse in Washington when they hear about partisan gridlock and inability to get things done. The answer is really yes, they are worse than they used to be. If you want some evidence, look at what's happening in Congress now as lawmakers approach their August recess. Two items that normally are handled fairly routinely without a lot of muss and fuss, uh, renewing the highway bill and renewing the Export-Import Bank have both created a, an uproar and they're not being done properly, won't be done uh, really at all potentially before the August recess. First, the highway bill. The highway bill is a bill that funds road projects, improvements and expansion of the road system and other infrastructure around the country, financed by a gasoline tax, normally approved for a six-year period. That's not happening now because the House and the Senate, though both under Republican control, can't agree on how to pay for that. So while the Senate wants to do the normal six-year extension, the House doesn't want to go along with that. They've talked about a five-month extension, and now as the recess approaches, we're down to a three-month extension, which is a little silly because it doesn't give states and localities much time to do long-term planning uh, for road projects. To complicate the situation further, that bill is also supposed to be the vehicle for reauthorizing the Export-Import Bank, a government agency that helps companies, large and small, finance exports overseas. Conservatives have blocked this. They think it's government interference in the free markets. And as a result, the Exim Bank has literally shut down as of July, can't do new loans, not likely to be uh, improved now. Its fate is going to be thrown into the fall. So August recess approaches. We have no highway bill except perhaps a three-month extension and no renewal of the Export-Import Bank at all. That's what gridlock looks like in Washington.